So what do you what do you stand to gain with this information? Because most of this looks like gibberish. Oh, this book. It seems pretty well. The book, we, we, book that Ringo's holding now uh, <laughs> looks like a bunch of gibberish. It is to you, but we have people. We we will decipher it and and find out. In fact, we're quite interested because we would like to compare it to what is in Father Gregory's diaries. I'm sure, as our friend here has noticed, unless he hasn't read it at all. The final pages of Father Gregory's diary have a similar and eerie comparison to what you've seen in yeah, yeah, like old he was Scott's book. Going off the rails in a very specific way. Who's this man? Uh, his, his name was Father Gregory. He was a, a he's priest. Got a, he's got a cool fucking name, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he lived... Lived in the what was it? It was eighteen twenties. The nineteen twenties. Nineteen twenties, yeah, it's definitely nineteen. No, it no. was nineteen thirties. Nineteen twenties. It was post World War One. Okay, post World War. It was. Yeah. It was nineteen twenty eight, I believe. <laughs> yeah, li- lived early. What is it? It's twentieth century, early twentieth century, mm-hmm. and he uh, he was got mixed up in some. Some strange happenings. He, was... he shows you a rough sketch that he's made of <laughs> Father Gregory <laughs> that uh, at some point, I, I don't remember who made it, but oh, when I made it. That. Is that oh, Nick's? Yeah. Yeah. Burning the door. Yeah. It's like, this, <laughs> this, 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 was, a, this was an artist's <laughs> rendering based they, on a yeah. rough description of Father Gregory. Oh, yeah. Chest. That, that's oh, a, that's yeah. That's a peculiar shape of chest here he got going on. Well, that, that looks like crazy person. <laughs> It looks yeah, like a, it looks like a cool self, guy. Self portrait. Seems, at one seems like a useless book. Then are you telling me that this was a man of God? <laughs> I've been waiting for years to break out this picture. And and some guy God. Like, uh, to use it in a game. Uh, <laughs> like, I forgot that you had done it, but it's like I took a picture of it. And I said, "Okay, what? Father Greg is going to come up again. They're going to find his diary, and we use this sketch." <laughs> he was. Uh, he was a. Uh, a Catholic priest, and he was who was completely obsessed with uh, witches, and then what he stumbled into what appears to be actual witchcraft. In the end, he had succumbed to the darkness. Our records show that near the end, he was sacrificing babies. Also, the the first Mark, an early Markham Scott, I see. Well, okay, no, he. I'm Apparently, cha- was far, far gone more than Scott ever was. Well, I, I ain't chatting shit or nothing, but if uh, if what we saw was a possibility, you know, this whole s- monster creature that we've discovered, which I mean, it still could be an animal, but I mean, what's the possibility? That witchcraft wasn't real. It could be possibly real. What witchcraft? Oh, witchcraft is uh, most certainly real. We have witches that work for us. Wait, well. You don't have to say that again. Come again. What? Witchcraft is real. Monsters are real. We have witches in the employ of Herbert Industries. Or at least the department that I work for. You mean like, you know, like a pagan, like a, you know, like a Tumblr witch? Or, you know, uh... No, the kind that give you tattoos that have power and can stop mind control from happening from the other factions. Sure, why not? Is no crazier than what we're looking at now. You know what? It I actually be- works. I, you know what? I believe you. This I believe is you. Been... No reason not to believe you. Um. Yeah. No. Are you a good witch, Deborah? I'm not a witch. Oh, okay. My, I'm a scientist. I shouldn't jump to conclusions, right? Uh, my bad. I'm just chatting shit. <sighs> no, that that's perfectly fair. Um, witches do somehow tend to use their powers to maintain their beauty and youth for some we, odd reason. Are we walking while we're talking, or are we just no? Standing? We're just you. Well, this is all happening while you're bandaging her up and everything. Oh, uh, okay. Because <clears throat> that's not so, a fast process. Also, we still have a. We have to be down here for a week more. Sure. Let's soonest. let's reunite with Cole. Soonest Cobalt. at the soon. I mean, Deborah. Is it is it safe for us to know this information? I just want some guarantee that we're going to be able to make it out of here. What do you mean safe for you to know this information? I assume we will sign NDA and move on with yeah, our lives. Yeah, can we sign some paperwork to, 
Yeah. Oh no, there's not paperwork involved in this sort of thing. This oh, is... just no one will believe us. Yeah, uh, see, you, you're gonna I mean, the, what I'm saying is, I promise I won't say anything. Sure. You know, you can say anything you want. No one's gonna believe it. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay. You you clean up dead bodies for a living. You can tell people that you were in the caves of Antarctica and found some monsters that were transformed beings from the old Scott expedition and that all the people were killed, their bodies were headless. Your Russian friend there shot off the head of our expedition lead and you have a book written in some ancient alien language. Yeah, you, you do that. I wasn't planning on it, but I want you to know that I wasn't planning on it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Ringo, you know, I don't whether, think whether or gonna... not anything will happen to you after the fact is well above my pay grade. I don't I'm think this can go book. on your Instagram, Ringo. I wasn't fucking planning on it. The only thing's going on my Instagram is a picture of me and text that says "Glad to be alive." That's it. I'm not going to talk about any of this. I'd lose my following. They think I'd go crazy. And if I'm correct, after this experience, you'll have the inspiration to write some of the best songs of your career. In fact, if you're interested in funding, we could probably uh, work out a deal. Have you been listening to anything I've been to, to anything I've been saying the past? What is it? It feels like weeks. Honestly, I don't think so. I only care about the environment now. Can you give me a deal about the environment? Can you promise to stop fracking? Can oh, that's way about my pay rate. Probably yeah. not. I don't care about. There's a lot of singing. money in fracking. You heard me sing. I don't have a voice anymore. The only voice I have is from Mother Earth. Well, if you can get, uh... you have a voice. You got a Twitter. <laughs> that was a very good point. We could probably give you back your voice. I... Wow. <laughs> I saw a guy to sing literally like 10 seconds ago. This is well, the they, they can amplify your message. This is the worst first day I've ever been for. All right. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I care for the environment. I honestly do. To, I came on this mission to, to help spread a message. Am I going to be able to go back to my job? Sure. I don't see why not. Some people are unable to do so after what they've seen and what they've learned. By the way, I really should point out, you know what's the greatest threat to the environment? Horrific, life-altering alien invasion. Oh, she got you beat there, mate. Yeah, you have a pretty good point. So pretty thing, good point. So one nil. I mean, you think one of these things, like, lands here every 10,000 years, people are talking about asteroids blowing the planet away? You know, it's... We don't know when this thing actually arrived, but it's been here influencing all of human evolution for tens of thousands of years. We don't know if there's even another or if another is coming. Do you have any idea how many more of those creatures are about? Oh, I mean, you mean like this one here? Well, we think there's another one somewhere. We don't know what happened to it. We were certain there were two when they, we arrived. But since we've entered this cave structure, I've only sensed the one of them. So I have no idea. Wait, you se no, sense? sense, sensed. Until... You said you weren't a witch. I'm not. But I received... Well, until it was destroyed, mm -hmm. thanks to... Uh, I do not blame you, Yuri. It was you uh, were not of your own yes, mind I, at I the time. I do not remember it. But... I apologize. Un until my my symbol was destroyed i had a sense of these creatures and where they might be it was supposed to help lead me to find the book uh, so we must stay vigilant you don't you don't you don't have your safety symbol now uh that is correct is there but is there we have yuri's way? gun we see it you he's all quite, have quite good guns <laughs> Apparently they're all terrible at it. <laughs> no, one, like... no one has attempted to fire. <laughs> I I have fired twice and both times I've missed. So, well, I, I, I applaud your effort. I'm not a marksman myself. <laughs> I applaud your effort. <laughs> Look, as far as we know, there's only one more of these creatures. We've left the other one unharmed. 
we should be able to walk out of here. Our biggest concern right now really is the cold. Yes, oh. and surviving. Are we, are we taking Koval with us? Are we just going to oh, abandon yes. him? Well, we have oh. to go back to get him, I okay. presume. His skills are very important. He's not demonstrated any indication that he is an enemy of any kind. Okay, uh, I think that, that will do it for the bandaging. Uh, uh, yes. Shall we get moving? Yes, there? let's let's go. What are we going to say, though? We don't say nothing. Koval? We're going to bring back Markham Scott's body with are, two... Are we? Are we? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. That's the whole point. Okay. Yes. Fine. With, with two gunshot wounds to the face and we're gonna say there, there's, nothing there's 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 it's, it's gone it's it's mostly just a neck we, yeah we, <laughs> we, can, we can cover up the body it could just be like a, a like a like a wrap she didn't want us to like scrape up what <laughs> we could of his no, head no. okay good <laughs> she's yeah she has her limits there's like it's like don't, don't forget that little like brain matter uh, there. are we bringing All wang, right. wang Ch- when no. Child's she doesn't body. seem to care about Wen's gonna, body. Okay. If you want to get her body, body, that's up to you. Hmm? We don't have the sled here. Who's going to carry the body? Uh, well, Deborah is the one who wants to wants us to bring it, so I, I she think will she carry will it. carry it. And she sure. slings it over her shoulder. Yeah. You should see right. Deborah's stats. <laughs> well, well done. Like, <laughs> she has All 75 right, strength score. Solution. <laughs> Deborah's stats are quite impressive. <sighs> all right, uh, all right, all right. Uh, we walk back towards. All right. Koval. So you start heading back towards where Koval came from, mm-hmm. and let's see. You backtrack through the tunnel. To... We do we walk? Yeah, past... we had a sled uh, at one point. Yes, so you you parked it, it way back at the, uh, yeah. the 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 like when it was still the flat area before you got to all the slag mm-hmm. white slag types area. In, in the forest, the stone forest part. So let's let's see what all of those uh, failed spot hidden rolls oh, I I had meant yeah. when I was leaving the chalk trail. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess you guys are heading back. Yeah, everyone can make another set of spot hidden rolls now. Ooh, that you're thank you. <laughs> that's a fifty three under eighty. I got fifty under seventy five. Um, 42 over oh, right. 25. Or, yeah. Uh, 84 over 25. You guys only have 25 spot hidden? I went yeah. for listen. Oh, that's fair. That's I, right. Dude. I'm a businessman. That's fair. All right. On uh, your way no out, uh, you notice a couple things. Uh, mm-hmm. First of all, uh, there are actually many more of these uh, tree branch jellyfish symbols that are on this side of like the stone columns so you're seeing mm. they're more frequent and as you're doing this you now can tell that they had you known they were there you could have just followed them and it would lead you directly into the cave infrastructure that you guys ended up in that they were mm. actually saying go this way as opposed to like just randomly wandering around this whole forest infrastructure um You already make an insight check. Uh, insight, like... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, idea, idea. Yeah, idea. Idea. Sorry. Got it. 30 under 75. That is a hard success. It now occurs to you that the entire cave structure that you guys have been exploring maps out the tree branch mm. symbol. Mm. Especially now that you're seeing the symbols and how they're leading, you now realize, wait a minute, we went left and then we went straight and then we came back and it's like that is actually exactly this tree branch symbol. Is that shape reminiscent of any sort of structure structure like biology yeah. oh, like like circulatory or nervous structure that I would have learned about? Not I mean, that you're familiar with, but if it maybe repeated me. <laughs> enough, like like there it could certainly be a circulatory system of some kind or a part of it. They all terminate at endpoints. So if it were it would be like the end capillary system or something like that but it's not anything you've seen specifically yep. i mean it could you may have seen similar things like in leaf veins and something like that but that would be like really pushing it yeah so caves, all right oh, so you're going. coming out and both of yours were just hard successes none of you got critical ones um yes, yes. okay this is, yeah all right 
so so you make your way back and you get towards uh now you get to the sled wait is this where you left Kobo? you left Kobo back at uh, the back at the yes. bottom of the slope okay yeah with the with so, the, so we, with the, so we have the radar because it, it was a direct line right. out yeah. with right. the signal so we, you're, we have two sleds we have janky rig sled you're at the janky rig sled point us. now yeah. And it's exactly where you left it. It seems perfectly fine. <sighs> okay. All the food supplies still here. So <clears throat> at this point, Deborah is looking and saying, well, we should probably make some room so we can put the body there, which means you have to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, and she's kind of looking to try to like triage what you might need or not need. Why don't, why don't we just camp out here? I mean, if we're losing crucial survival supplies, we could just, if we camp here, then we can eat it. I could eat. Do you have any idea about how how soon your people are going to come? Oh, well, my people, as I'm presuming my, my superiors in Herbert Industries, are just waiting to hear from me when we get back to the ship. So we'll, we're still waiting for... For, uh, back to the Falcon, you mean? Yes. Oh no! Uh, back to the actual. Uh, yeah, the the rescue crew that yeah, had the, the radar. The, the, the actual Terra Nova. Okay. So we are still dependent on this this cobalt signal to rescue yeah. as, us. As far as my people know, we are still on the expedition and everything is fine. Uh, they we haven't been here long enough for them to even miss us at the interior. Um, as far as they know, we're still on our way. Unless the signal has gotten out, uh, we won't know until we get back to Kowal to discover what has happened. Well, unless Kowal was not on our side and decided not to continue with the radar. What else? Did, are you are you the only uh, person from your group on this expedition? As far as I know, um, our people are not known for the uh, the double double, so it's quite unusual that there would be another operative that was working alongside on would uh, you, cross purposes would you have known if there was operative from a, a different faction in our group i well, she knew about michael scott i would have liked to have thought i did but i clearly uh already misjudged daddy here so i i sadly must say that i cannot be certain I was pretty sure Wen was here on behalf of the Chinese, but uh, she was taken off the table quite early, so... That would make sense with her training. Danny, do you mind if... And her face. Could I could, could I read that, uh, what is it, you said, Follow Gregory? Can I read that book? Uh, um, rather not. Uh, it's very... It's very sensitive. You know, it costs... It's well, kind of where above your pay grade. Oh, he's pulling the you're a janitor card. <laughs> well, he clearly spent massive fortune on acquiring this book. Well, know? I'm not even allowed to touch it. It's very, very old, and... I'm surprised it is not in protective case. It didn't look that old when he brandished it. <laughs> it's like, hey, oh no! Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think he's he's being a, a dickhead right now. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm, I'm being a rich asshole and you, <laughs> not like, even trying. To... He was clearly holding it with his grubby hands <laughs> yeah, that have been yeah, like caving. Yeah. <laughs> like, you you <laughs> see me like reading it sometimes at night. You well, know? Uh, yeah. I'm not telling you that you're being a bit of bell end, but uh, I'm saying I just. I just don't there see... There might be some interesting British history that I'd like to just see. Yeah. And verify about. I, it's, it's really just not worth the risk, you know? R- risk? Yeah. You know, it could get damaged any every time it gets taken out. It's it's just another chance it could something could happen. All right, piss off, mate. What are you doing? Deborah is clearly disappointed. That he did not loan you the book to read. <laughs> so, uh, I really only chat. wanted to read it. I didn't want to do anything else. It's like you could almost sense, like in her mind, she was like, "The spice, the spice, <laughs> the spice. <laughs> like, This could be our chance if he takes out the book and hands it to the janitor. I'm not a janitor. <laughs> I hate it. This I, is just her inside book. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I feel She's like not the, the nicest. 
I feel like the janitor should be like a Watchmen hero character. It's like, who are you? I am the janitor. <laughs> I clean the trash off the street. Oh my gosh, that'll be you. <laughs> yes, that's me. I'm the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I became that's what so, I feared it's like the so most. patronizing to like a whole field of study that involves forensics and biology. <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be so amazing. Janitor This is like forensic studies. Someday there'll be something called janitorial studies that'll be much more sophisticated than anyone could possibly imagine. That's like calling a police officer a bouncer. <laughs> or, or a security guard. I've been loving these um strange planet cartoons they're these comics that have been very popular oh, that are, have alien creatures mm -hmm. and this morning they had one on the batman and it's got like batman <laughs> hanging upside down in the cave and he goes i am the late evening and and then the next scene pans to the audience watching and he says boy upside down rodent hero is really like a, a relatable and it goes on and it's like just all of, it. All of those guys upside down rodent hero his his arch nemesis <laughs> the clown Yes. <laughs> the clown. No, the whole thing was like, is it commonplace for people to take a creature that scares them immensely and use that as the motif for their vehicle? It's like, it's like I'm really scared of spiders, so I decided to have a spider van. It's like, what spider van? Spider van. Spider, spider van. van. Does whatever another van can. Because I'm just the man. <laughs> you can do a three-point turn. <laughs> spider Man. <laughs> spider Man. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, uh, it's still one of my favorite songs. Spider Pig. It's like, can he do anything from a web? No, he can't because he's a pig. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So, uh, yeah. Are you, you, first of all, this sled you have is pretty crappy. Uh, it's like, it was pretty piecemeal put together to begin with. Mm -hmm. It's not great. You now have even fewer muscles to pull it. Uh, you're still crippled, so you're already going at half speed. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a crippled you know, janitor who's yes. uh, also poor. <laughs> so I don't I, you, I don't deserve anything. Don't you get hazard pay? Like crippled, one eye, well janitor. It's not even the school season. <laughs> <laughs> You've got summer break, don't you? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Oh so much God. freedom. <laughs> you know it's literally the school year right now, right? I know. <laughs> it's like I know. No, but they're paying you a lot more for this expedition than you would have made. <laughs> Groundskeeping. <you> <laughs> Didn't you also have a night job as a bouncer? No. Okay. My character is that I used to be a bartender. Something horrible happened. Oh, and I, then you I, became. I went back friend. to school. Okay. And then I joined that. And then my company told me to join in on this expedition. Gotcha. By the way, you're, the, the job that you actually have in real life, it pays pretty well, actually. I mean, you're, you're not poor. Uh, you're not rich. Yeah, I came, like, here, I came here with good intentions. Yeah, but you're fine. Uh, not with ulterior motives. I mean, you're, you're probably wealthier than Yuri is. Um, sure. Even yeah, if, a Russian doctor would yeah, be. Even if Yuri is a government him. operative, unless he's also like the under-the-table oligarch type where he's been mm -hmm. skimming for years, he probably isn't wealthy at all. Um, all right, you are back at the bad sled and have decided to camp out and have a feast in order to clear out enough room for what remains of Markham's body. <laughs> what, what, what are you munching on over there? Nothing. Where's De Markham's leg? Yeah, where's his head? It's only a finger. Deborah, do you think any of these witches could give me my eye back? Oh, you know what? Yes, but I don't know if you want them to. Um, witchcraft is a very interesting thing. I do not put much stake into it. Uh, it's effective, and we have definitely circumstances we have to use their skills, but witchcraft always comes at a price. Uh, modern mm -hmm. medicine is much superior. We can't restore your eye yet, but uh, we could definitely give you a prosthetic that is extremely realistic and lifelike. If you actually wanted a fully functioning eye, the witches can probably help you, but they're almost certainly going to ask for a price that you may or may not wish to pay. Well, could we we can just, we can exchange contact information. Oh, absolutely. In in, I mean, we could always use a janitor with your skills. 
uh, your abilities are quite formidable, uh, considering your background. Well, you, you don't come across a lot of janitors with my skills? Oh, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> we, we... <laughs> I say that incredulously, and you, <laughs> like, you, don't, you don't skip a beat. You're like, 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 oh yeah, you're the best like, janitor we've ever run across. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Overqualified, in fact. <laughs> You do, you do so much more than just be a janitor. Yes. <laughs> like, you, you know science, which is quite surprising, right? Usually my janitors don't have much science skills. <laughs> yeah, you're a science janitor. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. The only uh, thing you need, all janitor. you need is a hat and a song that ends with the wild frontier, and you'll be great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, janitor of the wild frontier. <sighs> See? You're gonna be offended, and eventually you're gonna own it as your own, and then you wear it as a badge of like like pride. Well, I I mean I'm just I'm I'm so British. I'm gonna <laughs> she's just taking a piss. <laughs> you can tell she doesn't really mean anything by that. She's not purposely trying to be insulting. She's just like, oh, he's the janitor. I was like, well, That's from my perspective, fact. is that she should be smart enough to to catch. Social context clues. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's not. The, it's not her way. It's, it's not really her thing. It's uh, her stats are quite amazing, though. You know, Let's see if she takes a liking to you. Let's do it. <laughs> after after it's all said and done, does she like me? <laughs> now now that I am nothing. <laughs> Hey, just this, to I mean, break you down before she builds you back up. <laughs> this is that classic thing where she goes back and tells her girlfriends, "Is like, you know, I met this janitor. He's actually surprisingly charismatic. I never thought I would fall for like a laborer. <laughs> one of these, one of those, those blue collared workers. <laughs> yeah, you know me. I just clock in, clock out." <laughs> So, okay, we're, we're sitting around, we're eating at the fire. Ooh, you're building a fire. Oh, oh. I guess there isn't a fire. I, we probably don't have time. We want to hurry. Yeah. We're just what? Looking. We don't I want to hurry back to Koval. I, there is another Sphinx out there. I say that we're taking a break to eat, <clears throat> but then we'll be back on our way. Yeah. I think it's important for us. To at this point, you guys are all. It's a short part. It's been quite a while since we ate. Not only that, yeah, but sure. you're now realizing how tired you are. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Like yeah. it's been kind of this adrenaline thing. It's been go go go, and you're thinking, has it been 24 hours? When was the last time we pooped? And like you're realizing now that you've settled in, and you're like, that you're like, wow, I'm really wounded. Yeah, like, the the age old Cthulhuan situation of when did you poop last <laughs> that's <laughs> you never take that time did, did you fill out your poop box on the character sheets no it's blank <laughs> my oh, character, my oh no the character's over pooped oh my gosh we definitely need that to, to add something like that in blades of the dark it's oh. like, how, how many segments of the wheel have you filled out it's like it's like, well, you got to poop now. So like we're gonna, six we're segments. Gonna, we're going like, to set a poop clock <laughs> for a uh, seven. I didn't invest. This is not what the people have to remain for. I did not so, have enough skill points for content. I just want to point out, I don't know if any of you are watching the current season of Rick and Morty, but episode two is all about pooping, oh. and it's absolutely one of the most... I don't know if this is oh, special, man. but this particular season... Every episode is a philosophical journey into the soul. It's mm -hmm. so good. <clears throat> but yeah, episode two, poop is life and life is pooping. And that's the whole story. It's all about a toilet. Oh. So good. All right. Anyway, so. Sponsored by, no. <laughs> <laughs> by Rick and Morty. <laughs> Send us swag, you guys. The correlation <laughs> oh and Schofenhofer if you want to send us more delicious grapefruit beer we're definitely open to that as well Schofenhofer maybe not how it's pronounced <laughs> not even close to how it's pronounced <laughs> definitely not for kids because we're not a channel for kids oh yeah 
Yo. That's right. <laughs> we forgot to say not for kids. Yeah, we're not for top. kids, you guys. Okay. Don't, don't sue us. Or, I mean, you could try, but we're not for kids, so you lose. Yeah, Because we've, clar- right. we've clarified. Don't waste your money. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Are you talking to the kids who were watching right now? No, they're not allowed to be watching. Good. Yes, exactly. If YouTube did their job, they wouldn't have made it this far. <laughs> Fucking de- de- in terror. De- Worthless, degenerate, degenerate scum fuck bastards. <laughs> this is just like that episode of wow. um, Australia's Somebody Got Talent the where the guy insulted the judges Had before he started his thing. <laughs> and it was really good. And the judges were like, you know, it doesn't matter how much the audience likes you. If you if we don't like you, we're just not going to let you through. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> YouTube, we disavow any knowledge of this man's insult of YouTube. You, YouTube, I disavow YouTube. We, we, we do whatever you want. All right, so you eat your food, you're mm-hmm. hanging out, you're feeling very, very tired. Uh, so much so that you should probably make con rolls. Yay! Oh. Should, we, should we just like like sleep right here? Ooh. Oh, ho, ho! That's a pass of four under 55. Wow, that sounds extreme. Uh, I got a hard success. Ooh. You... I got a failure. I've got an 80 over my 45. Not only that, but you are already injured, so you're even worse off. Yeah. I, I've Yuri, nine... not surprisingly, is like, I can still wrestle bad in this form. <laughs> I, I got, a, got a 94 over 25. You two really feel like you've reached your limit. Like, you were really excited up until this point, but you're like, you know what? I really should have signed up for that CrossFit yeah. program. No, no, this, this is perfect, because I was already trying to push for, for staying here. Guys, I... And it turns uh, out, uh, Deborah, she's strong and powerful, but, like, she's more injured than she let on when she was, like, excitedly trying to get you guys to, like, stand down and give her you her books. Like... During the eating and stuff like that, you can actually see her like swaying a little bit, mm-hmm. and like she's kind of like maybe lost more blood than she's pointed out. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that Yuri like super critical in healing her, she may be unconscious. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe maybe nice. we should. What if we just slept here, you know, and and we could we could set set a watch and then you should sleep here. Sleeping and... shifts. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I, man, I, I don't was think pulling I, the sled for so long. I, I how I how long of a, a trek is it to get to Koval? Well, like, you guys are probably going to be able to get back to him in less than two hours if you actually, like, because you, you, you were exploring on your way in. If you're just pushing back out, you could probably get out there in two hours unless you get lost. I think we should push on to get to Koval. We can't leave him alone for, for too long, especially now that we know... Yeah, the I'll, extent of the dangers. Yeah, yeah but I, I've just been running on adrenaline, and I, I, I don't know if I've got... Oh, that's right. You're hurt. If you go at his pace three hours. Yeah, I got an 80. Three hours is fine. I don't think we're going to make it three hours. I mean, it's... We're, we're, we're going on how many... I've lost complete track of time since... You're this t- is still the same day that just, we left just the take, Falcon. Just take this. I, I, I give Oh, are you giving them pain, stims? Pain pills. Oh, okay. Or, or what, whatever. Like I don't think I have stims. Pain, pain <laughs> pills? <laughs> yeah. That'll put us to sleep. But you're like, I don't know. What what, what will help them? Uh, so, Math. So actually, you do have stims. <laughs> you have stims. Uh, Ooh. Yes. I'll because, give them stims. Yeah, because oh. uh, they're basically adrenaline shots. But yeah, you have the equivalent. Like if you guys are going to pass out anyway, you might as well pass out with Koval once we get there. You you at least know that for the people who are already at their limits, mm-hmm. they will be much worse off afterwards. Like, but they will get them there. Much worse, much worse off. Yeah. yeah. Because of the stims. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because they're gonna overwork themselves. They're gonna burn out the healing abilities. It's gonna lower the immune systems. Their cells won't regenerate. Uh, they will be worse off, but they will get them there. Hmm. I'm at your whim, Mister Doctor. I'm confident in my like, healing ability. Let's right. go. There, there are three Let's of us. There are only two of us that are that are still good to go. 
Only two of you and three of us are dead on our feet. Are you stimming him? Yeah, let's stim him. All right. So stim him. I'm gonna mix Yuri it comes up and says, and <laughs> I this. mean, like, I think I trust Yuri enough that if he just like casually walks over and jabs a stim in my arm, it's just gonna happen. Okay, oh, well, like, you know what? Well, this this is good for bones. <laughs> this is good for bones. <laughs> <laughs> Inject ah. you with some calcium. Let this, me make this your... will stave off uh, radiation poison. Let, let me make your bones happy from my environment. Um, oh, okay. Deborah is also super in favor of the stim thing. Uh, she really wasn't excited about falling asleep with you guys sitting around, so uh, well, she's totally into it. Yeah, we must make it back to. Uh, to you signal, feel great. Us. Oh my gosh! You don't know who has been lying to I you. Got one as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 You. You. You also don't feel <laughs> yeah. like your legs as injured as you thought it was. Like you. You feel like you might be getting better. But you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Let, let us take ten years off your lifespan and. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna take shifts again for pulling this. Is that the stim makes you feel better? But now that throbbing pain in your menacing eye is also very bad. Um, like you can feel. You know how when you have an injury and you can like hear the blood your heartbeat, Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it's like that. So the stim has made your pain sensitivity in your eye much worse. Well, all the can more. Can I also give uh, anti? <laughs> like, don't don't mix don't mix want. uppers and downers. <laughs> if, 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 if you want to give them a topical, oh, no. like, please don't. This morning I was so scared because I was like nibbling on my uh cheek and I'm like oh wait a minute i can't feel my right side of my face because Ooh. of the dental anesthetic did i just yeah. eat a part of my mouth and it's like how is it in the 2019s they still cannot like reverse this before they send me out into the public to chew on my lip mm -hmm. so thank I goodness just i chewed like a hole in the side of my cheek yes like and i was like yeah for sure how are you not making sure this doesn't happen to your patients how many people come back like after a week, and this is like a, a like a dental clinic that also specializes in helping like people who have tr trouble. And it's like you can take a homeless person off the street who's been on meth or something. You fix their teeth, you give them the thing, and then you send them back out. He's gonna eat his own face. So <laughs> anyway, so yes, you you can give him an anesthetic. Someone's gotta do it. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> I've got a job for me. Let's to get some homeless. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you decide after you've eaten, you strap the body to the thing, at the, the, the terrible sled, and now you're going to drag it back to where Koval is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to, Deborah's definitely going to help, uh, even though she's Perfect. significantly compromised. Uh, and you... And Deborah has a heart attack <laughs> from her. <st> <laughs> no, she her con is her highest stat. So nice. Oh, oh she just rolled poorly. For oh, oh no, yeah, she's yeah. fine. She doesn't have a heart. Attack. She's fine. Uh, she's she's not fine. She's but she's okay. Like she doesn't die. <laughs> she's regular. Good. Yeah. Good. If it, if it, if it gets to that point, uh, it's it's going to be Harold who, who dies first. The, his con is only a 45, like, <laughs> with disadvantage, here, like, <laughs> cough. <laughs> Says the guy with 25, I have 25 con. I You oh, have a 25 yeah. con? Yes. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> wow. Hmm. It, that, you want to take that? You that's our role. I'm so sorry. I, I, that's I, our role. No, that's just like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it's if, I no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, point, like, if I could have point points. If I could have put points in like, con. That's unfortunate. I, I, I. Had I realized there have been more con rolls in your past, like oh, there like, have been plenty. Oh, okay. I've gotten like, lucky a couple of times. I was like wow, how have you not already succumbed to this like horrible environment? All right, so uh, you managed to make it back to Kowal pretty okay, uh, and he's surprisingly tripper. He's like, ah, oh, you've made it back. Oh, what's happening over there? Oh, I see you found uh, Mr. Scott. Uh, apparently, what is left of him? Um, he was already gone. He was how he the two monsters we have been hearing the howling. He was one of them. But what? He he was That's... he was howling like a monster when we found him. 
Wait, wait, but. Wait, but the, but the, when we were on the Falcon, there was the hauling from. Wait, so you're saying he's also a monster and a ventriloquist? I don't really know what. No, after, uh, after I know he's we... dead now. Yes. The, no, there is still two uh, two sphinxes out there. Oh. At least. How'd you guys get back? Oh, I oh, and then he notices Deborah looks terrible, and it's like oh, what 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 happened out there? Oh, Debra uh, Deborah's been real helpful with us. Uh, Deborah can explain better. She's been helpful uh, helping us navigate. That is fair. She's so, uh, very competent. Uh, I'm gonna go over to Deborah and like do a pull aside. Oh. Right. See, hey Deborah. Um, I remember you saying that you were protecting us from, you know, this big monster, right? Ish. Yeah. Were you protecting him as well? He was far away from you. Oh, I, I'm not sure my abilities reached as far. <clears throat> okay. 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 Uh, I'm preparing, like, with, with the stuff that we have with Koval... And with us, I'm preparing, like, three, like, makeshift bed spreads. Oh, okay. Uh, you three, you should lie down here. I will... Well, well, I will, uh... I mean, I'll lie down, but uh, I'm feeling a bit, uh... I'm feeling a bit chipper, mate. You you will not for, for too long. This was to get back here in, in time. To when, when is this stuff going to wear off? Insure coal safety. Uh, it should be soon. He like says that, and then I'm like, it's like, bam, and then it hits you. <laughs> in three, yeah. rounds, two, yes, the, this, one. This is the comedy moment in the episode where it's like, oh, just about now, and like, and you go, you you actually just collapse. Like yeah. you have you. It's not from the exhaustion. Is the fact that suddenly you, the leg that has mm -hmm. been injured and that you've not supposed to be walking on, suddenly just gives away. And you just collapse. Mm -hmm. Luckily, well, right onto the bedspread that they prepared for you. Aww. It's like they said, you know, put the fainting couch here. <laughs> like, well, that works, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you're not unconscious quite yet, but like you definitely are like, oh my god. Like I, I hurry to uh, address his leg. Oh, uh, I suppose I should be getting on one of those as well. Yeah, yes, you, you you're should. barely crawling over there. Okay. Uh, Deborah. <laughs> Walks over to hers, but you can tell she's just putting on this front to not seem like she's weaker. Uh, his leg is terrible. It's swollen. It's blue. Mm -hmm. It might be getting gangrene. Like, these last three hours were not good for it. Uh, there's, If you were in a good facility, you wouldn't be worried at all. At this point, you think there's a 50-50 chance he's going to lose it. Well, I, I get to work. I grab all my, like... Yeah, I like, mean... Like, the first thing he does is, like, he cuts a slit to let out the blood. And yeah. And stuff like that. It's, like, it's it's pretty gross. Like, it's the whole... Am actual, I under? <laughs> uh, uh, I can put you under. Yeah, right? he can he can take that you out. Okay. I don't think that... Pretty a, easily. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think that a local will, will, will sustain. A local... I think I, I've got to have a, a full under. Uh, you know... I think everyone agrees the full is, is probably the yeah. best. Uh, uh, but you'll be out for like a good four or five hours. Okay. Yeah. On that note. I'm getting, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting All right. <laughs> All right. So you take him out. You start working on his foot yeah. to try to save should it. I, should I do medicine or, fire, or uh, first aid? Uh, or this is going to be medicine. Medicine, right? Yeah. This is definitely more than just your typical band-aid. Oh, almost extreme. 19 over 18. Oh my god, you are uh, the greatest success. You are the greatest doctor in all of Siberia. Wow. Like <laughs> you you not only save gunshot wound to the chest, but you may have guaranteed that he gets to keep his foot. So yeah, hard success. Hey. Wow. That's legit. Uh, appa yeah, apparently, 19 under 91 is the full. Apparently when Yuri was like going through the list of things to pack from the medical kit, it's like, you know what? We're going to need this thing, which only comes up well, we one have, in like, the a hundred. We have a whole surgery kit we brought with us. That's like right. I can perform surgery. 
we made that decision. Oh, yeah, that was a good call. Yep. Oh, so uh, looks so like can... Harold is not losing his leg because Yuri is amazingly good go. at doctoring. Uh. <clears throat> and also, apparently, also. Dr. Morozov. Shooting everything. It's like, I will shoot you, then I will fix you, and then yeah. I will shoot you again. It's like, <laughs> there are two things in life. He's like, <laughs> fix and break. He's like the perfect supervillain from some kind of Fast and Furious movie. It's like, I can actually see that written in the sure. dialogue. I will shoot you, and then I will fix you, and then I will shoot you again. It's like, yep. yep. Uh, I've heard something somewhere. And then the rock will go, shoot this. Shoot me. <laughs> Check out these guns. That's right. And he'll make his like breast do that thing. All right. <laughs> so... All right, so <laughs> you guys, the three of you, are mostly in rest mode, and Koval is like, "Okay, what's going on? What's happening? You guys look terrible." Like we hurried uh, to make it back here in time. We were worried for your safety. What, was something chasing you? Like, what did you see out there? What 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 killed um Scott? Why why why? Who who shot Debra? I look at Deborah, and I look, I'm out. I look back and I say, "I don't, I don't." We're out. Can't tell you. We're out. I can't, I can't tell you. Why? Wait, why what do you not? Mean you can't tell me. Did you? We not said see we it? wouldn't say anything. Wait, what? What? Uh, Deborah did not who? care if we said anything. Wait, she say something. What, what do you mean? You promised you wouldn't say anything. What did you see? Uh, Deborah, why don't you explain? You understand better than I. I think Deborah's out. Was Deborah's, she out, out? Deborah's no. sleeping. Okay. Turns out she's pretty tired. Markham Scott was uh, underway transformation to become monster. We saw some things we were not meant to see. He was holding Wen Chao's lifeless corpse. I can't say this. Did you have an ulterior motive on this whole expedition? Because uh, everyone you did. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, everyone had their own secret mission. Yeah. You have a secret mission? Well, mine was a public mission. I wanted to show off the, you know, the, the ravages we're doing to the planet Earth. But, you know, other people had their own things. <laughs> yes, I was the doctor. And wait, the what, doctor. Do you, what do you mean s secret mission? So, so wait, you are, are you a Russian spy? No. <laughs> I am a doctor. <laughs> and you're... <clears throat> Are you really from a boy band? Wait a minute, I've seen you on television. You're really from a boy band. Yeah, I'm actually from... Yeah, I, I am from a boy band. And I am an Instagram, a no, social it, media it influencer. Was, it was just Markham Scott and uh, Deborah. Wait, mostly. Deborah's on a secret mission? Is she, is she not really a biologist? You should just ask her when she wakes up. We do not what, really understand. What about the janitor? Is he a secret agent? The... No, nah, he's just a. No, nah, he's, he's the, cr he's, the yeah, crime just scene a regular cleanup? guy. Yeah. Harry. Yeah, he's a normal guy. Yeah. He's kind of like me, you know. But you know. Guy. Wait, so so when you said everyone has a secret mission, do you mean like no one has a secret mission? Well, no, it's uh, da Danny, Deborah, Markham Scott. Wait, Danny has a secret mission? He's he's not that rich millionaire with a like sick kid. Well, he... all right. So it's Hi not... hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> is what is happening Not a here. secret. Well, I mean, the secret was is he was looking for some arcane uh, solutions to his son. Wait, he was searching you, all the ends of the earth, and that includes. Wait, you mean like like he's one of those like Magic the Gathering guys? Like he's like. No, he's just you know it's like uh, you hear legend of like a plant that could cure all things, so he would go after it. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, like those rich people who go to the Amazon and say, we're going to find the cure for AIDS in a monkey. Yep. And then they, you know, that's... And, and, then they, 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 and then they take ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, that that's actually happens a lot. That's not like a secret mission. That's like a very good... That's very good science. I guess the point is, is that... Uh, yes, science is not really the word that it for it anymore. Turns out no one cared. Not, all, not everyone cared about the, the mission. So, you know, that's that's the big surprise for me, you know? Go out here in the middle of fucking nowhere and everyone's doing their own thing. Like, searching these caves, mm. looking for journals. Wait, what? The, the, I, we were searching the caves because we got stuck here. Oh, wait. Those three are out. I want to read. Oh, journals. yeah! 
<laughs> Let's read the journals. Yeah. All right. So Let's whilst, them all read the, you know, so whilst, us three read so the while journals. So while using my backpack as a pillow. I so want... while Ringo and Koa are having this, uh, I, I Peter, I, 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 Peter, you actually, better be British enough. I just leave a little to, to, to catch on now. to these things. What? All right. Sure. I wanted to read it because I wanted to see if I could make. Br- uh, British and Welsh connections uh, from the knowledge that I could obtain from reading, and then I could just have insight, <laughs> and I, I didn't get that opportunity. What's going on. All right, so first of all, uh, because this was uh, Yuri's idea first, while Koa and Ringo are arguing, what are you doing with your surprise actions for how you're going to do this? Are you like sneaking up, like using stealth? Are you like, oh, this this bone enhancer will be great for you? It's like cyanide. Wait, so so, are are the Starts are these three asleep everyone. asleep or he is... he is out out. Okay. Yeah. Both like kick me in the face. I'm not gonna yeah. wake up. Out. Yeah. Then okay. so so he he is just out. Like you could like and he had roll Markham's around. journal and he had Morgan's journal. Oh no! Uh, no, I gave it to Ringo. Oh, Ringo I, has ha- it I have that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I gave he it, is I gave just it to Ringo asleep, I, I just knew. and Deborah is just asleep. But like they're both super tired, so it's probably a deeper sleep. Yeah, I mean, if I can, if I think I can get to it, I'll. All right. Uh, so you're not going to use any chemical enhancement to ensure your success. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I have a tranquilizer that I brewed up. <laughs> I literally have it in a syringe. Yep. So, Ooh. so that is up to you. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I forgot about somebody, that. Somebody, somebody's a chaotic. <laughs> I need to know this. <laughs> somebody's chaotic neutral. <laughs> Mister, I am not a Russian agent. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give him just like a little, a little bit. You know, whatever <laughs> I think is is not going to be harmful. <laughs> I'll just, I'll Okay. Just a little yeah. off top, you know? To be just like, you know, sleep for another hour or whatever. Okay. Just, to be fine. just want to give him a good rest. He needs the rest anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you, you're going to have like a heart murmur. He's going to be fine. I was going to say, I think st- I need to roll con to not die. <laughs> yeah. You, you have a stem and then a tranquilizer. <laughs> All right. So you give him a little bit of tranquilizer. That doesn't require a roll because you've already rolled to make it. Uh, so it works. Uh, <laughs> That's true. And then so you... Bad. <laughs> So you have the diary of Father Gregory. Uh, you should make a spot check. Are you pointing to Oh, yeah. yes. To me? To you. Yes. The oh. British one. Yeah. What? I think maybe. What do I get? Well. Uh, nope. 77 over 25. 69. Does it make a sound? Uh, no, he's, no. he's being like, quiet. Good. We, we, we drugged them. Now let's read over this book. And then they get murdered by the bee. Koa, where's your... <laughs> Why are you so bad at this, Koa? I rolled a 69. Uh, the funniest one. Ha, 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 the funny number. Oh, Koa has like crap. 69? <clears throat> We're not a kid's channel. <laughs> yes, this is not for children. <laughs> this is Call of Cthulhu after dark. Not for kids. 